All right, we've got a pair of Justin boots with the toes a little bit worn out, I'd say. The wealth is all wasted. We're going to put new footbeds, new midsole, and some Vibram 430 soles. All right, let's get started. All right, let's tear this sucker up. Man, that's the well tearing. That's the footbed right there. That's what we got to replace. I'm going to replace that with leather. Put a new welt, soles, polish, condition, fix the toe, and we are done. <laughs> yeah, we just started and we're going to be done. Right. Damn. Damn, mask on. Yeah, buddy. Okay, buddy. No, we're good. Thank you. Now, I gave the customer some options of putting toe pieces on, make it in to look like a pattern. He said, he said, do as minimal as possible to cover the toes. So we're going to fill those in and see if we can put a small piece so it's not too noticeable on both of them. This is leather dust on my machine behind me. You watching, Lulu? Yeah. Looks good, brother. What do we always say? Don't, don't freeze up on me because the camera's on, brother. What do we always say? Keep your eyes open. And your mouth shut. And? Damn, Louis, you're camera shy, ain't you? Brother, keep your eyes open and your mouth shut, and you might just learn you know something. something. Come on, brother. How many times have we said that in the past? About a thousand. More than that. Two million. Okay. Did you finish that boot? Yep. Look That's good? right. We got Lulu. We got Lulu. We got Lulu helping us today. I'm talking to the camera, Reza. All right, let's continue. So we had some uh, lining issues here. I think uh, I'm gonna cut this off right there and just replace that piece with a piece of leather. I think it'll be much more durable than than what this is. So let me show you guys what I did. I cut a piece of lining out, worn out with the holy. I put that leather piece down there. I marked it on the leather, the edge of the lining here. I'm going to remove this, glue it to the lining and stitch it right on the edge because I don't want that, when the foot goes in, I don't want that edge rubbing and peeling back. So that stitch will keep it together. Once it's stitched together, then we can glue everything back and then put our footbed in. So a little surprise along the way. We still got to patch this toe up here the same way we did the other one. We're making progress. So the edges of that are skived. You guys see this very thin. So it's not so bulky once it gets assembled. Let me see the other boot, Louis. So we got this one in here. We put double row stitches on there. So this way you're not going to feel, he's not going to feel it. Now his pinky kink comes about right here, so that seam is not going to bother him, so it should be okay. The toes are getting there. We still got to sand that a little bit. We'll clean all those marks off. Those marks were just kind of samples of what I was offering the customer to do as far as pattern. And since he didn't want it, not a problem. We'll, we'll sand that flush, and then we'll clean all that up. 
Now this is the footbed. As you guys can see, it's in several pieces, but we can still get a pattern out of it. This one is not too bad. <laughs> get a rough, rough measurement. If we can get one good measurement out of out of it and we can kind of duplicate it to the other one that way they'll both be the same there she be we'll glue both of these together we'll glue both of these together cut them sand them and they'll both be the same size once it gets done all right so looking at the footbed it has a layer of cushion okay and these were the inner soles he was using now we have the footbed which is a little bit thicker leather than what was there before however before i put the footbed in i'm going to put this foam this is a foam with a with a cloth surface the other side we're going to put this down like this having the leather a little thicker and this foam should give him a little bit more of a um, snug fit now we're going to give him a new pair of inner soles also foam padded inner soles so anytime we change the footbed you're going to feel a little different when you first try it on your foot's got to get adjusted and broken in um, but there's not much there's not much here to break in though but still it's going to feel slightly different once you get it back but um, once you wear a couple of times you're gonna it's gonna fit and it's gonna feel great all right let's continue all right so we're making progress we've got our footbeds in temporary stitch temporarily stitched in place that's what these these threads are so at every area where I marked it I temporarily stitched it together so we can keep the footbed center to the shoe boot so it doesn't misalign and as, as we're stitching the welt on the toe is not too bad I don't think I'm going to put a piece there I'm going to touch that up with a little bit of dye now we clean the uppers we still have to apply a little bit of a uh, little bit of color and um, and condition them up polish them up there's the other footbed with the foam on it I think that's going to be solid once it gets done. So now next we're going to do the welt. Actually, I'm going to condition, add a little bit of color, polish these up before I put the welt on. And then once the welt comes on, we'll do the soles and she'll be ready to go. And this side, this one here is missing a pull tab. I'll make a new pull tab on that, no worries. All right, now we're going to focus on the uppers a little bit. I'm going to try to add a little bit of color. Not too much because this is almost like a distress chrome excel leather, which is like an oil tan leather. And we want to keep that little bit of that patina, but not, not too much. I'm going to put a little bit of water. This is leather refinish. Where are you? We're going to take a little bit, mix it with water. remember we don't want to we don't want to make it dark brown this is this is mid this is nightfall brown which is like a dark brown about this is just kind of glazing it let's say we've got light color thread and that still maintains the color it's hard to tell but the color doesn't really change the thread we're just going to give it a little bit of coating on the surface. Now it does look dark because it's getting wet. Whenever leather gets wet, it tends to darken up. But that once that once that dries, you'll be able to see the patina still on the boot. That's not going to change. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of color, but not drastically change the boot from what it was. All right, so once that coating we put on is dry, we're gonna take a little bit of spray dye. This is color tan, Brillo, leather color spray, leather coloring. Just a light miss is all we're doing. Now this is basically a shoe cream. This is, um, let's see what color is this. This is dark leather is what it's called. This product is LN, LM Professional. This is an Italian product. I don't know if this is available in the market, but a, a, a regular shoe cream would work as well. I just happen to have this and I like the product and I'm using it. And simply just applying Cream to the uppers. Now we get to put Big Four conditioner. It's gonna take about two, three coats of Big Four. Cause the leather is pretty dry. I'm gonna apply this on there. Sometimes I let it sit, sometimes I, I buff it, let it dry and then apply another coat until I get that desired look. One more coat and we're gonna let this one sit. Come back about I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes later. Give it a chance to absorb. And we'll be ready to stitch the welt on. How exciting. It's uh, four o'clock in the morning and I'm so excited of working on boots. <laughs> I haven't even had coffee yet. Damn, I gotta make some coffee. Coffee time! All right, we'll let this sit and we'll come back a little later. I 
lost my hammer. You all know what time it is. Hammer time. <laughs> Hammer time. Make sure this is centered well. In progress. Now, some of you guys are asking about my coffee. I drink lots of different coffees, but this is my favorite. And simply just put the water on. This kettle will make a good two and a half, about three cups, I would say. I usually put two spoonfuls. And that's it. Stir. Let it percolate. It'll rise. You have to remove it off the flame because you don't want it to spill over. You do that a few times and you are done. And it's coffee time. <laughs> So we've got the straps made. Basically it's a two part, two pieces. You've got one piece that's folded in with the reinforcement nylon inside and another piece on top stitched together. And this is what you got. Fold that over, I put a little glue. We're gonna stitch it right there and she'll be ready to go. I'll apply, I'll, I'll apply a little color to it, maybe to darken it up a bit so that'll blend in a little better than what it is now. We are almost done with this project. All right, welcome back. We are done with another project. I think they turned out pretty good. It's a much more structurally sound than uh, what we started with. Um, now, Justin boots are not top, top of the line of boots, but this one was the customer's favorite and he wanted to continue to wear them. And um, once we uh, once we took it apart, we had a little bit of surprise around the lining area, but we took care of that. And I think he should get uh, many years of wear. Um, all he's got to do once in a while is just condition and polish them up and it should last for a long time. If you guys have any questions about a certain repair, please email me, bedos at yahoo.com. And I'll do my best to try to answer in a timely fashion. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Thumbs up, comment, good, bad, I'll take it all. No worries. All right, thanks again. We'll see you guys on the next project. Take care.